everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new around these parts, welcome. My name is Missa, that's my Instagram, that is my Twitter. I am basically in quarantine, probably like 99.9% .9 of you, and I'm just trying to film as much as possible, take my mind off things. Sometimes I do sit and I'm like, it's so frivolous to sit and talk about makeup, like it's so stupid. Considering the climate at the same time, what else am I going to do? And we all need background noise while we're putting our own makeup on or hoovering or, you know, you know what I mean. I really want to film a full face of like my most expensive like luxury makeup so I want to kind of neutralize that with a full face of like super cheap inexpensive makeup so I've picked out a heap of stuff in my collection that is either like the cheapest or super super cheap drugstore and we're just going to put it all on the face today so I think we'll jump in we're going to start with eyes because I feel like I might get fallout and I don't want to ruin my base and I don't know what I'm going to do maybe like a winged out look with a wing I don't know, we'll see. I just know we're gonna do green because I've got these two green palettes that I want to use. I'm just gonna prime them first. This is my Revlon Candid. I'm gonna pull it right out just because I'm not sure how much of a wing I'm gonna do. And I like, how has this not run out yet? Do you see how much product this? Wow. I like to put it like on the bridge of my nose there just so that when I go to put my foundation on, it's um, got coverage already. This is not the cheapest concealer in my collection, but it is the best drugstore one I've found for priming. I think I'm gonna use sellotape. And do, yeah, I just think it'll make it a bit more fun. But it's whether or not I can match up both sides. Just have to wing it, I mean, how do you know if they match? I might just drag you in a little bit closer while we do the eyes. Oh, all you can see is my big forehead. I think I'll start off with this e.l.f. palette. This is in Hot Jalapeno, £3. Um, a lot of people said to me in my e.l.f. video that they wish I used this, and I can understand why it's swatched so well. So we'll start off with this, and then I'm going to use my ColourPop Mint to be as well. I want to do like a glittery cut crease with a wing. There we go. Melissa, it's me. <laughs> what can you do? I'm gonna use this uh, green one. It's my first time using this palette. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and this is on a wet base, remember. I actually can't see anything. It's a really, really pretty mossy green shade. A lot of people also said that they went on the website to try and like buy these palettes and a lot of them were sold out. That's the problem I had when I bought the two that I've got. They were, a lot of them were sold out, like the purple one, the blue one, sold out, which was really gutting. Um, but I'm sure they'll bring them back into stock, although how long it'll take in this climate, I don't know. I feel like I'm quite messy with my eye looks until like they start to come together, so don't worry about too much right now. The only thing is just because it is four shades, like that is the lightest matte. I've only got this deeper green and then two metallics. These metallics are stunning by the way. Um, so I'm going to go into my Colourpop Mint to Be. I'm going to use the shade uh, Freshman, this middle one. I've used this once but I used it off camera. And I quite liked it. I only did like one shade of it and I thought it was quite nice. I looked at today's conversion, this would be £9.71 for us Brits. I think I'll just drag this all the way along and just like blend this out and I can re-deepen it up, of course. Because it's quite pastel, it is going to like give me a harsh line but that's okay. I hope you don't mind that I'm using two palettes. I always try and avoid it but I thought today it would be okay. Same brush, I'm just a bit lazy. I think I'll use Get Fresh, this like first lightest one on the inner corner. That's so pale and pastel. I think that's the only shade I've actually used out of this palette, I can't remember. That's like really pigmented. Builds up nicely as well. I'm going to go back in with that e.l.f. colour that I used 
and just get rid of this line. I'm wondering if it's going on like ever so slightly patchy. I think it's okay, like I don't think it's super patchy, but I mean it is three pounds. I can kind of forgive super cheap shadows for being a little patchy when they're so cheap because just like with a little bit of extra work you can make them look great. And then I'm just going to use my favourite brush, this really deep green, and just really intensify this outer, outer V. Oh, I hate that. That's nice actually. I wondered if it would actually be much darker and I would say it is. Like really impressed. I'll go with that like slightly lighter elf green just to blend out the edge. I really like the tones that are going on here. I'll go back in with that ColourPop Freshman shade and just put that in the middle here. I can't decide if I want to go like a gold glittery cut crease or like a more cool toned greeny glittery cut crease. I think we might go green and just keep it very green. I don't know decisions. I'll just throw on my cut crease quickly actually, yeah, I'll just do that quickly because it'll take me ages if I do it on camera and I, I'm really bad at doing it on camera and then we'll be back and we'll like fill it in. But that is, I mean I'm really impressed by how they've blended so far. Oh, messy cut crease on. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Play It Cool. Sorry, I'm so zoomed in. This one up here. Just at the beginning because it's just so incredibly beautiful. I actually don't know the name of this brush, it's rubbed off the handle. That is so stunning. Mmm, it's like liquid metal. That is like such a gorgeous shade and then I think I need to use this one from the e.l.f. palette, this metallic here because it is stunning and I want to see how it applies. I don't even really think I do need to wet it. Like that's pretty nice not wet, but let's wet it anyway, just because we can, because we're adults. We can do what we want. I will blend the two together. It's actually a really pretty color. I might just try this Mojito Mami, this middle one, um, just in between the two. Oh uh, yeah, that's actually quite nice in between those two shades. This ColourPop palette is such good quality. These metallics are dry and they are just going on so beautifully. And I do want to use the liquid glitter today just because I use quite a lot of high-end, like Urban Decay and stuff and they're great, but the collection Glam Crystals are also excellent. This one is in the shade 16 cosmic stars and it's just like clear with all these different reflets. I think I'll just put that at the very front as well just because I do want glitter and joy. I don't know if you can actually see the difference there that much. I think that's nice. I'm just gonna kind of keep my eyes like this for a bit just to let that dry. And then I will, well, we should probably blend this out a corner, shouldn't we? I'll take this green from the e.l.f. and just start to pat it and swipe it on here just to start my blend. I 
and then just that deeper one as well. That looks all right. I'd love to do like a deep green wing, but I don't have any that are drugstore, so I'm gonna use this Maybelline tattoo liner. I had to dig this out my new in drawer because I actually don't have any other black liquid drugstore liners. Um, it's just one of these little tip ones. And I find with tape, it's just so easy to do a wing. I just draw up it and can get real messy and it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not really great at wings <laughs> at the best of times. <laughs> I guess this liner is just supposed to like not come off. Oh, I hate doing wings. I'm so bad at them. But I like the effect. Right, I need to I need to focus on this. I'll be back in a second, then we'll peel off the tape and have the like the nice part and then we'll move on to base finally because this has been ages. <laughs> when I tell you I can't do wings, I mean it. That was the most stressful like 10 minutes of my life. Mm, looks pretty neat though, with my um, tape off. It's all in my lashes. Oh, it's like stringy, that's weird. Well, right, let's move on to skin because that was so stressful, honestly. And wings look great on me when my eyes are closed, but when they're open, they don't. But anyway, we'll move on. Just wiped away all my fallout. Not much. I think the eyes are looking quite good. I think they'll look a lot better with lashes on and the rest of my base on. For primer, I've decided to use, actually should I use this first? I'll use this first. So Paula, one of my patrons and a subscriber, she was showing everyone these Primark primer waters, which obviously look like a dupe of MAC Fix Plus and it's prime and infused. I got the watermelon one, it's three pounds. Infused with hyaluronic acid and watermelon extract. It's a priming spray, so I thought I might as well go with this first. It's actually quite a nice spray, probably nicer than Fix Plus. <laughs> but I am going to use another primer as well. The scent is quite nice, but it is very artificial. Um, the primer that I'm going to use is my Barry M Pixie Skin Blurring Beauty Elixir. I feel like I can't use my e.l.f. because I always use that, so I'm going to use this. Um, I got it because I was hoping it would be like a dupe of that really fancy one. What's it for Sally? And actually, I don't know if it is a dupe because I've never used it for Sally, but this I actually really like. I like to blend it out with a brush, just kind of pat it in. I do find that this um, does blur my pores quite a lot. It smells nice too. It smells real nice. It feels super hydrating as well. I really like it. And now I have got a new sponge. So this is from B&M. It's called Style Studio. It's got like a mouse on the front. This is what the sponge looks like. So it's super, super pretty. Mine's wet, I've just wet it. It's a lot harder than a sponge I would usually go for, but I'm excited to try it because it was only a pound. B&M is in Britain. I'm not sure if it's all over the world um, or not. I'm, I don't know. Um, Brooke got this for me. I, I did pay for it and I paid for postage, but she managed to source one for me. Um, so yeah, we're going to try that and I did a Patreon live the other day and I used the NYX Born to Glow and we were all quite shocked by how nice it was. So I'm going to use this again and I do get asked to use this quite a lot. Um, I'm going to use the shade Light, so hopefully it's okay for me. Um, it was alright actually in my Patreon video. I'm just going to squeeze it on. You know me, probably put on too much. That's kind of like my my treat now. Yeah, we were all quite shocked by how nice it looked on the skin. So hopefully we can see that again today. Pretty nice coverage. My skin was so glowy, but I did use a lot of glowy products and they weren't all drugstore, so I can't use them all today. Yeah, the sponge is way too hard for me. Sorry, Brooke. Sorry. If I really don't like a sponge, I'll just keep it and use it for baking. I just not wet it and then I still get use out of it, so it's all fine. This foundation's a bit of a dark horse, you know. Isn't that nice? 
It is glowy, it is dewy. Nice coverage, I'd say good solid medium. That is real pretty actually. It's like the third time I've used it now. I feel like cream contouring because I'm just in that kind of mood. I'll use my MUA Pro Base Concealer. This is in the shade number 180. This is like two pounds or two pounds 50. I just want a cream contour. End of discussion. Oh, this might be too dark. We'll be fine. Have I used this for cream contouring before? I don't remember. I don't really ever cream contour my nose, if you know me. Bad at it. Hopefully this blends, because this is quite a matte concealer. Although, but, I mean, this is a very chewy foundation, so I'm just hoping it doesn't, like, remove it. Why did I put so much under my jaw? Just looks ridiculous on me, honestly. I don't know why I do it. I do it because other people do it. Which is so stupid because it just doesn't look good on me, ever. I think I like cream contouring so much because you can get right into your hairline. Whereas with powders, I don't know, I can't ever get quite as into my hairline. And then I don't have that like white line between the two, you know. This is looking really nice actually. Oh, I love cream contour. Such a good base for all your other products. I also think when you cream contour, you just plan on being more glam that day. And for my actual face concealer, I thought I'd pick one out of my drawer that I really don't use a lot, but really rate. This is my Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage. This is in the shade C1. I would liken this to the It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Under Eye or the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. I always end up putting way too much on because it's a squeezy tube. It has such good coverage though. This is kind of like a really dewy concealer, but very good coverage. Oh, I can go over my awful jaw contour now. I can contour my cheeks fine, but I think that's because I do have cheekbones. But then when it comes to like my jaw and my nose, it's just a disaster. I'm going to throw it back to an old favourite powder, my Makeup Obsession Pure Bake in Lace. This stuff is great, the only problem is the packaging is terrible because it doesn't have a sifter on it. I'll bake quickly before my creases come back. I've used this a heap, it's been in favourite videos. It's a real great powder, my one is in Lace but you get other shades of it as well. Yeah, it's a good sponge for baking because it is firm. So you can be quite precise with it. And I thought I'd just use like the kind of matching powder. This is a Game Set Matte from Makeup Obsession, just on the rest of my face. It's a really fine powder. I actually find that it, I have to use quite a lot to set my base. So some of you might like it if you don't like powder so much. It's just very like gentle. If that makes any sense. I always go to edit my videos and I'm like, nope, it doesn't make sense, Melissa. <laughs> but you tried. I feel like my skin still has like some glow to it, but I'm still gonna use my Makeup Revolution Skin Finish. I think we all know at this point, I use it every single day. And I think I'll put a little bit of setting spray on now just because I put a lot of powder on. I'm going to use my collection Primed and Ready Dewy. This is probably the best, cheapest dewy setting spray. I really rate, and I took it out, the Milani Make It Dewy, but this is like £13. I feel like that's really steep. This is only a fiver. Oh, this is a new one. Has a really good mister on it. Doesn't smell of anything. And it's a fiver. 
I think my skin's looking really good. It's looking makeup-y, like I don't look natural, but when do I? <laughs> like, I really like that foundation. I am gonna keep playing with that because I could see that going in a favourites video in the future. And for contour, I wanted to pick one that I don't really use much, but it's really cheap and it's a nice undertone. It's the Rimmel Kate Moss like trio. I'm also gonna use this contour and I thought I might use this blush as well, I'm not sure. But I'm definitely gonna use this contour, it's really pretty. This isn't like the cheapest compact, it's not like the cheapest contour I've got, but you get three products. This is in 002 Coral Glow, if you're wondering what one I use. I wouldn't say this foundation though is particularly nice to my forehead wrinkles. Oh no, the nose. The nose. Just go very gently. I think that's alright as the nose contour. Doesn't look too crazy. No? I'm actually quite pleased with that today, which is rare for me. And then for bronzer, I used this in my Patreon live and a few of us were quite shocked at how nice it was. It's the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Bronzer. This is in the shade Palm Beach Ready and it's definitely got a sheen to it. But yeah, when I used it, I was like, wow, that's actually so pretty. It made me look like I had been on holiday. It has such a lovely sheen, you know that is what I live for in products. I feel like I could almost get away with putting no highlight on because I just have so much glow like all over my face. Oh, I think I put maybe a bit too much bronzer on. I'm obviously going to put highlight on though. Imagine I didn't. Um, I think we'll use this one. My makeup obsession, Mega Honey, I've not used it in a while. But it's great, three pounds, can't believe it. I feel like I'm like quite dark in complexion today so I should be able to get away with this colour. In fact, if I do this cheek you'll actually be able to see. See? Three pounds, three pounds. My skin looks a little textured today I would say, but I don't really care because I mean all skin has texture, doesn't it? I still can't believe this is three pounds. I mean, right, let's use some more setting spray. <laughs> no wait, brush, blah, brush, blush first. I'll just use the one in the Kate Moss palette. It's a really lovely like coral colour. Don't know if it's perfect for this eye look, but it'll be fine. It's actually really pretty. I don't think I've ever used a blush. Uh, so yeah, I'll go in with this again. Well, I'm nothing if I ain't glowing. That is the truth. I'll go through all my brows and then we'll come back and do our lower lash line. I still need to pick a lipstick as well. Chet's gonna keep the under eyes super simple. So like, go in with this dark one and then this light one. I just think there's probably enough going on on the top. I don't need to do too much on the bottom. I cannot believe how pigmented this elf shadow is. This is on a set base and it's just going on like marvellously. And then I'll go in with that like mid-tone green. And a little bit of that colour pop, that middle shade. And the same one on the inner corner, like that one that we used on our cut crease. It's just so perfect and really light as well, so it works really well. And then I just take a little bit of the metallic green and put that on the lower lash line as well, just for fun. Why not? Tiny bit more of that medium green. Oh, in my waterline. I started off with this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner. This is 
not going to help my watery eyes, but I didn't want that. I didn't want that, so I'm going in with this Rimmel Scandalize in taupe. I just, I wanted it to be a bit darker, and actually this taupe and that green kind of mix together and make a kind of khaki green. So it was kind of like a happy accident, because it made a colour that I actually do want. Just just like a deeper green, a more mossy green. Okay, right, I'll just throw a pair of lashes on and then we will put a lip on. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, so we'll discover that together. For my lips, I did go boring nude. I'm going in first with my MUA Lip Pencil. This is in TLC. These are fab. You know I've talked about them a lot. They're excellent lip pencils. You all need them. Trust me on that. And then I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Raw. Um, or I don't know if it's got a number, 136 maybe. Um, but I want a little bit of shine on top, so I'm going in with my Maybelline lipstick in 710 or the shade Sultry Sand, depending where you are. I think it's a bit different, so just for a little bit more kind of gloss on the lips without using a gloss. So that is all of my makeup on, obviously, and I think these are the only green earrings I have, so I put these on even though I don't really like them with this look, and the hair is a disaster anyway. I am like pretty happy with this makeup like that foundation is lush i really quite like how the eyes came out the only thing i'm not loving is the maybelline liquid liner this really shiny finish so it kind of looks not perfect if you know what i mean so i definitely prefer a matte liquid liner but on the whole i mean everything i think has just worked really well got a lot of makeup on Hopefully that doesn't offend you. If it does, you're in the wrong place. It doesn't offend me. But yeah, I'm really happy with how my makeup's come out, to be quite honest. Please let me know what you think. I am massively impressed by the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. I used the brown one in my Full Face e.l.f. And that green one today has worked so well. And it worked really well for a, a wet base. That foundation as well is something I'm going to keep playing with. The only thing I don't like about it is it's not very kind of forgiving to my forehead lines but I also added quite a lot of shine up here so that might not be helping. On the whole yeah, very happy. I just think drugstore makeup is fantastic. I think so much of it really rivals high end. I think, I mean I think, I feel like I show that quite a lot because I do use drugstore like predominantly but I'm so glad I did this video because now I feel like I can do my full face high end and people like will get mad at me. Because <laughs> I do get a lot of comments from people like, oh, why are you using high end? I only watch your channel because you use drugstore. And I'm like, but I like all makeup, you know? I like it all. So that is it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out probably more than you know. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what other drugstore makeup I need to pick up and uh, subscribe. Thank you all so so much for watching this video it's very possible we've hit 60k by the time this is up i'm not sure um hopefully we have um <laughs> yeah all of your guys support is just it means the world to me and a, a thank you as well to my patreons thank you guys so much for your support on patreon and on here it's just it's great and our groups are just the best thing ever we've got facebook whatsapp whatsapp and a discord group and i do lives as well as much as possible but at least once a week and um, if you want to join the links in the description but if you can't or don't want to being subscribed to my channel and watching my videos is a massive massive support and on that note i will piss off because i'm about to film a video all about blue eyeshadow whilst we're in green it's not gonna make a lot of sense but it's just i want to do it for fun so yeah anyway i'll piss off and i really hope i'll catch you on the flip side bye